Sup nerd amigos, I'm the Jive Talking Nerd, John Norgrove. We've got Wife here. We're here again for the 25 reviews of Beer Miss. Our review for the day is Holiday, the 2020 Netflix rom, uh, Christmas rom-com. Uh... Holiday, Holiday rom-com, rom -com, but yeah. whatever. Christmas is like the main one and it works. It's not important. Um, <laughs> shut up. And uh, our beer for the day is not technically a beer, but that's also, I guess, okay. It's Natural Light Seltzer. Uh, Catalina Lime Mixer When Cherry and Lime Become Best Friends. It's the longest fucking name for a thing ever. Yeah. <sighs> okay, so. Holiday was actually a really good and enjoyable movie. movie it was super cute it was super fun i kind of had this vague feeling that it was going to be like hold that there were good bits that it was going to be like kind of shit um i don't know why i thought I it was going to be kind of shit slightly color or if it's just light no yeah this is slightly pink regardless of the fact that our slightly pink lights <laughs> are not helping with that but cheers to the season huh and let's uh well, I guess it smells like cherries and lime in a science-y way. Okay. Okay. Well, that exists. Um, Ooh, that smells like... <laughs> it smells like, like science. cough drops. <laughs> it smells like what happens when a synthetic tries to make more synthetic things. It also tastes like cough drops. Yeah, it's, um... But not sweet. I mean, it's a seltzer... I mean, I guess that's what you get for a yeah, seltzer. It's six percent by volume. Aren't seltzers supposed to be like low calorie or is that what? Yeah, what, like, because there's like no nowadays? sugar in them. Yeah, okay, sure. So this is this is a six percent fucking. I want to put a shot in this to make it taste better. <laughs> I feel like a, I feel like a shot of a uh, Kirschwasser, which is uh, like cherry yeah, liqueur. Yeah, yeah, the cherry that liqueur. That would be really that, nice. You know what? Hey, that and cherry liqueur. That's the fucking secret sauce. But anywho. Yeah. Um, so, Holiday is starring uh, Emma Roberts, Luke Bracey, and Kristen Chenoweth. Yeah. Um, and it's basically like a sad girl who wants to just be alone, and her parents are fucking assholes about her trying yeah. to be alone, uh, decides to pick up the, like, hottest Australian dude she could find in the tri-state area, and they become just friends, no benefits, and they're going on dates on the holidays, and then a year into it, they end up falling in love. What the fuck do you expect to happen? Yeah, um, it's pretty obvious that yeah. it was going to happen. From the beginning. From the I mean, beginning. Emma Roberts is attractive. The dude, um, uh, Luke Bracey, is like super suave yeah. and attractive. Yeah. And, and he's got an whole, accent. The so you whole can't time. That. They're like, they're like, they're like, we're just cool. It's cool. And like, her mom is like, well, if you're not going to try to get real with this guy, I'm going to push this fucking doctor on you. Um, bloody uh, 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 Dr. Farouk, uh, played by. Uh, Manish Dayal, uh, who is amazing, by the yeah. way. This yeah. doctor is, like, arguably one of my favorite characters. I mean, really, like, all of the characters are so well acted. Yeah, her I brother's mean, good. I mean, her many of them are uh, caricatures of, yeah. like, actual people. Yeah, you, so you certainly wouldn't put intense. up with this kind of shit in your family, like, whatsoever. Yeah. It's unacceptable. But, uh, no, it's really good. Um, it kind of speeds through a lot of the holidays, and it's primarily focused around the, like, Thanksgiving, Christmas, yeah. New Year's sort of trifecta of holiday seasonage, um, which is nice. It um, it's really funny. The bits, it's the bits funny. are good. Yeah. I mean, the ro the like rom com part of it, the, the the romance part of it is is there. I, I would I would say that this is um, teenage family friendly adjacent. Yeah. Right. Yeah. I mean, like. There's it's definitely too, a lot of it's sex. It's too jokes. inappropriate and sexual for like young kids. Yeah. Uh, but for the most part, it's it's fairly family friendly. Like if your kids are in high school, they're gonna get all this. It's gonna be pretty yeah. obvious. It opens easy. pretty much immediately with a blowjob joke. So yeah, yeah. So it's yeah. it it starts a whole it starts hard. It. Yeah. Um, but uh, yeah, it's really good. Emma Roberts plays like a neurotic kind of a chick. Yeah. You know? Well, and she just went through a really tough breakup. Like, yeah. her ex that she'd been with for a while her was, like, smoking is this, hot. like, suave like, Latino dude, and he hooked up with this barista who, I swear to God, is played by, like, a supermodel or something. Yeah. So she's, something. like, she's, like, going through that yeah. stuff, you know? Um... But no, it's great. Uh, King King Batch is in this. Yeah. Um. Um. Who he's the I'm, best friend. He's the best friend. I yeah. fucking love him to death. He's, and he's so fucking really funny. I mean, really, this is everybody's a really funny in this. A lighthearted. Yeah. 
but like raunchy comedy movie that's centered around the holidays and particularly Christmas and Thanksgiving and yeah. New Year's and that kind of thing. Yeah, totally, um, totally, totally. I highly recommend yeah, watching. Very, it's, it's very like irreverent. It's definitely yeah. making fun of like standard family tropes. Like if you have like family drama, not like, like trauma, but drama with yeah. your family, like this is going to remind you vaguely of whatever drama you have because she goes through all of it, 100% of the yeah. drama. Her mom is inappropriately invasive into her life yeah. it is something else let me tell you what and uh, they also hit they hit a whole bunch of holidays in like um sort of a montage they do like a holiday montage and yeah. one of the holidays the music, that they the hit dancing. is uh is Cinco de Mayo which I really liked because that's my birthday yeah uh so the Cinco de Mayo was one was good because you don't generally that. see that considered as a holiday in the like yeah, greater holiday yeah. echelon but it's um it's really good. No, it's yeah. good. This was a fantastic movie. I highly, highly recommend it. Yep. That was not a great beer. We do not don't, recommend that. Don't, 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 don't drink, drink that. that. Unless, you know, you're super into, like, shitty cough drops. Yeah. Or um, seltzer alcoholic drinks. In which yeah, if you're trying to, like, great. count calories or whatever. Yeah, this is the thing. If you're trying to count calories, I'm going to tell you the secret right now. Vodka. Straight cup. That's... That's what I did when I used to work out all the time. Was I just drank yeah. vodka instead of beer and shit. It was like way less calories. I used to do tequila and then just lime juice, no sweetener. Mm. And I'm that Yeah, I don't need the calories from half that. a lime. It's yeah. like five whole calories. I could use on something else. Yeah. I will take those lime <laughs> You'll have to take those five calories. I don't want to just drink straight <laughs> vodka. Straight vodka's not that bad. You know what you do? You put that cup in the freezer first. Secret time. Um, I keep a freezer pint glass literally in the thing. But, uh, yeah. So, either way, I have been John Norgrove. This has been Wife. This has been the 25 reviews of Beer Miss. Um, we reviewed and Holiday watched Date? Holidate on Netflix. We drank, uh, natural light seltzer Catalina lime mixer when cherries and limes become best friends. The longest fucking name for the shittiest thing I can possibly think of. But, uh, yeah. Yeah. There you go. We'll catch Don't you already say time. like, comment, share, subscribe. Oh, no. Don't like, forget to like this video. share, subscribe, yeah. ring the bell, do all that, do all that. Do the stuff. Do all that kind so of stuff. Inclined. And uh, we'll catch you next time. Yeah, yeah. Merry beer, Mr. All, and to all a good pint.